Hello everyone, welcome to opensprinkler.com. So a few days ago I went to Long Island, New York to visit friends and uh, look what I came back with. It's a couple of Raspberry Pi Zeros. I'm sure many of you have heard about the Raspberry Pi Zero, which is a very small and low cost Raspberry Pi uh, that can run a full Linux system. And this is the package that it came with. So let's open the bag and see what's inside. So here is the Raspberry Pi Zero. It's really small. Here is its size compared to a standard business card. And this is um, another one where I have soldered uh, these uh, 2 by 20 male pin headers onto. The Raspberry Pi Zero costs only $5, but you have to be aware that um, it doesn't come with the pin headers as the uh, standard uh, Raspberry Pis, uh, and also um, it doesn't have a standard size uh, USB port, so if you need to in connect any USB device such as a USB Wi-Fi dongle, you actually need a converter, which I'll talk about in a little bit. And here is a display of uh, three Raspberry Pi versions. This is the Raspberry Pi 2 Model B, and this is Raspberry Pi A Plus, um, and this is Zero. So you can see Zero is quite a bit smaller than the other two. As I said, the Raspberry Pi Zero doesn't come with a standard size uh, USB port. Uh, specifically the USB-A female uh, port, uh, connector. So that means if you uh, want to connect USB devices like the uh, Wi-Fi dongle or a mouse or a keyboard, um, you can't directly plug it in here. Um, you actually need a converter. So um, you can get a pretty uh, cheap uh, micro USB to a uh, USB-A uh, adapter, uh, sometimes it's called the, the USB on-the-go OTG adapter. Um, I have ordered mine, but it hasn't come yet. So in the meantime, I, I made a DIY version, and basically I you know, cut a micro USB cable and uh, a, a standard uh, USB cable and pieced them together with some hot glue and uh, uh, electric tape. So here is my uh, DIY adapter. So you plug one end to the micro USB. Note that there are actually two micro USB ports. One of them is for connecting to USB devices and the other is uh, for power powering uh, the Raspberry Pi only. So uh, make sure that you plug it into the correct uh, micro USB port. And then, of course, you also need uh, to prepare a SD uh, card, uh, just like the standard Raspberry Pi, and then you plug it in here. Um, and in case you have an old uh, micro SD card uh, that you have burned in the past, um, it might not work with Raspberry Pi Zero because uh, it, this requires the latest uh, Raspberry Pi operating system. So in case it doesn't boot on your old SD card, you probably have to remake uh, your SD card with the latest image. And now I can plug in my wireless adapter here. And as usual, I can use a powered micro USB cable to uh, boot the Raspberry Pi. As you can see, there's a green LED here which starts blinking. Actually, the main reason uh, for me to get hands on a Raspberry Pi Zero is to verify that um, it works with the Open Sprinkler Pi. And uh, so to do that, I basically soldered the uh, 2x20 male pin headers and uh, and also on the SD card, I have uh, installed the uh, Open Sprinkler firmware. So I plug it in onto the Open Sprinkler Pi circuit board. Now, uh, because this is a self-made cable, 
it sort of sticks out of the uh, enclosure. But when I get um, my proper OTG adapter, it you know the the Wi-Fi adapter and the and the USB adapter should fit nicely uh, within the enclosure. Um, and then just to, for testing, I prepared uh, one uh, 24 volt AC uh, sprinkler solenoid, and so I plug in the terminal block onto the open sprinkler pipe board and then I plug in the power this is 24 volt AC uh, power and you can see that the green LED indicates that it's powered on so I'll wait a few minutes for it to boot up okay now that it has booted up um, I can type in the IP address of my uh, Raspberry Pi followed by colon 8080 that's the default um, uh, HTTP port uh, on Raspberry Pi for uh, the Open Sprinkler firmware and uh, here I am in the mobile interface so my solenoid is connected uh, to the first station so if I say turn on the first station for let's say five seconds and so if I press the submit you can see that also hear from the sound that the solenoid and is open and then is closed after five seconds and uh, so let me just show it again you know five seconds and you can see the solenoid action Okay, so I've verified that the Raspberry Pi Zero works successfully with Open Sprinkler Pi. So a couple of quick notes about the um, the cost of um, the Raspberry Pi Zero. Although it's uh, super cheap, it's only five dollars. Currently, um, it's out of stock uh, in most of the online stores, and I was able to find Raspberry Pi Zero in a micro center store in uh, Westbury. Uh, Long Island, New York, um, and uh, I haven't been able to find it anywhere else. And actually, at the Micro Center store, they limit uh, one board per uh, person, so it's really difficult to purchase one at the moment. Also, the Raspberry Pi Zero doesn't come with the pin headers pre-soldered, and it doesn't have a standard size USB port. So, in order to use it with um, Open Sprinkler Pi, you need to solder the pin headers and also get an adapter. And these adds up uh, to the uh, bottom line cost. So if you're not willing to, uh, you know, go through the hassle of these, uh, probably the, uh, the cheapest option would be to use the Raspberry Pi A+, Plus, which is just a $20, and it has the uh, pin headers pre-soldered and with um, a standard size uh, USB port. So that's all uh, for this video. Thank you for watching.